Hi, besties. It's your favorite girl, Mono. Would you like to see how I made this beautiful rough wood fan or togeli? Then sit around and I'll show you exactly how. For this tutorial, I'll be using a pre-owned ashoke. You can use a new bundle of ashoke if you have one. If you're using a new bundle of ashoke, you need about three and a half to four lines of ashoke depending on the length of the ashoke. I've gone ahead to cut and join my ashoke to the preferred size. Measurements I use is 35 inches starting from the top, then 30 inches, then 25 and 20. So I joined it equal on one side and then on the other side they are not equal. All right. So that's how you cut and join your ashok. If you already know how to make autogele, this should be easy for you. After that, I went ahead to cut one long strip that measures 44 inches. That is what I'm going to be using for the ruffles. Okay, so I went ahead to fold the edges of both sides of that 44 inches. I will show you how I use it to make the ruffles. I've gone ahead to attach it to the base. So we're going to move on to the tying now. Go ahead and locate the middle of your gele. Then place it on your mannequin head and tie securely. You can use pins to hold it to make sure it's not moving around when you are tying. If you do not know how to make your mannequin head pinnable, please go back to my channel. I already have a video showing you how to customize your mannequin head to make it Now that I am done securing the gele to the mannequin head, it is time to begin tying. On the first line, that is the 20 inches part, I am going to make four round pleats. It means I am not fanning out the pleats. I'm just going to be making regular pleats on that part. After that, I am going to continue making pleats, but this time around, I am going to start fanning out the pleats if you're familiar with auto gele making i am sure that you definitely understand what i am talking about one more thing it is important that you know how to tie your gele as in like tying of regular gele i have a lot of videos on my channel that shows you how to tie gele so for this for instance this particular fan I have a very detailed video that, on my channel that shows you how to tie fan gele. Get, knowing how to tie gele would make your journey of making auto gele very easy. If you don't know how to tie gele regularly, you are going to, you know, struggle with making auto gele because auto gele is not just about sewing the gele. All right, you need to be able to tie that gele to look realistic, to look like. They just tied it on your client's head, all right? So if you don't know how to tie your fan gele or any type of gele at all, please scroll through my channel. You'll find amazing videos that is going to help you on this journey of making auto gele. I have very detailed videos on how to tie fan gele, okay? So moving on, I am extending the pleats that I have made to the nape of the neck which is very important i am doing that so that my gele form has a base you know that the pleats i'm making would have a base to sit on and then um, extending into the nape of the neck as i work would give me a guideline i'll be able to visualize what i am doing so i will know when i'm making a mistake and correct it as i go not when i am done with everything i am doing okay I will continue picking my fan pleats until I have exhausted the entire fabric, okay? So if you notice, the fabric I'm working with is quite soft, so it's wobbly, it's not firm, okay? So I would advise that if you want to make this style and you want it to look really nice, work with a, um, a firm fabric. This is what my customer brought in and I had to make do with what she has. All right if you made it this far into the video and you're not yet subscribed to the channel why don't you consider subscribing so that you become a part of this awesome family 
when you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video mark chapter 8 verse 36 says what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul jesus is interested in everything you do he's interested in your business and he's interested in your success give him a chance today At this point, my pins couldn't hold the pleats down anymore, so I had to come in with my needle and thread and start tacking as I go along, okay? The reason this is happening is because the gele is really soft. That's the fabric I am using. It's very soft. If you are using a stiffer fabric, you will be able to handle it until you are done tying. But if you can't handle it, go ahead and use your needle and thread to tack as you go along. But please, before you tack, make sure that your pleats are properly positioned. Otherwise, you might have to do double work. After tacking all the pleats securely, I'm going to use the leftover fabric that that part where I'm holding, I'm going to fold it neatly and I will use it as a base for my ruffles. My ruffle needs a strong base to sit on, otherwise it's going to be wobbly. So I will use that as a base for my ruffles to sit on. Because of how soft this fabric I'm working with is, I will make sure that this excess hand also goes to the back of the fan to an extent. It won't go all the way, but at least to an extent, it's going to go to the back so that it can help keep that fan standing. Otherwise, your fan is going to end up crumbling when even before it gets to your client, okay? So I will use that remaining hand to hold the fan to an extent.
to protect your soul. At this point, I'm going to attach my ruffles. Please watch closely how I attach my ruffles. Okay, so I pin the fabric to the gilly that I already made and then I begin to form my ruffles. As I form my ruffles, I use my pins to hold them securely, okay? Now I am done forming my ruffles and I'm going to go ahead and tack everything together so that it becomes one. For that 44 inches that I measured, okay, so when I formed my ruffles, I'm going to leave out some part of it to serve as a strap for tying on that end. Then I'm going to tack everything together. After tacking, I'm going to go ahead and attach the other strap for tying the other side. Okay, make sure that you tack your ghillie securely. Don't ruin the ghillie that you have done. You see how beautiful it is now? When you are done tacking, it should still look the same way, okay? Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Until I come your way next time, stay safe and stay blessed.